Hey everyone, it's Ava Migajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon. I really gotta stop saying other game titles names. Welcome back to more Crash Bandicoot 2. Last time we got to level 2 and I eventually went back and got the gem in that level there. Uh, this episode, I'm gonna take on just something small in this level. Remember that uh, red gem that we could not get on the first level? Well, now we're gonna go back and get it. And this is exactly how you do it. God. Alright, uh, let's have a look. Oh no, they're making it so much more harder for us now. Alright, um, let's just get that in just in case. Now here you'll see some boxes. What you gotta do is jump on one, jump on another, land on that platform and boom, it's a magic transporter. Remember how I said there was only five levels in the warp room? Well, this is a secret warp room here. It is level six, technically. This is where you will find the last two levels in the game. Seriously, you got level 26 there and level 27. Uh, but they are not unlocked yet. We have to unlock them ourselves. So, let's go in here and get our red gem. Remember that secret passage I was talking about? Yes, this is that secret passage. There is like a million warper fruit on this packet passage and a million lives. It is quite sad, really. Ah! Thought I was going to die for a second! Oh, God. Wow. I really got to be a little bit more cautious. Ah, stupid penguins. Take this. Die. Die, fags. Oh, why did you stop me for, penguin? I hate you. Ah, Alright. No! There we go. Oh, my God. Lives. All right, now we have invincibility. Now let's floor it through the rest of this level, because nothing can kill us now. Yeah! Wow, I just picked up two lives somehow. I don't even know how I got the other one. Oh wait, I got 101 fruit. Whoops. Okay. Yes. Okay. We have the red gem. Now we never have to return to level one ever again. But we have to finish the level, obviously, first. Uh, yeah, obviously you actually don't have to have, or you don't have to get all the boxes to complete the red gem, because now we actually have it, so yeah. Invincibility! God, I'm not even doing anything, I'm getting thousands of lives. Okay, now that we've got the red gem, we can pretty much just uh, go through the rest of level 2 without further ado. Alright, how much percent are we completing now? 22% and we're, and we're only up to the 4th episode. God. Okay. Now we're going to go to this level here called Snowbiz. Yes, it is pretty much a ripoff of the first level. You'll find that a lot of the environments are similar uh, to all the previous levels, but they are laid out a lot more diff differently and are obviously a little bit more difficult. Oh, how did that even happen? I'm spinning. Stupid penguins. Screw you. Okay, yay. All right. Now we're going to go for the silver gem silver gem here so obviously we're going to go through and get all the boxes oh no stupid freaking what are you anyway you like some weird spiky thing hang you die so oh, hate your guts all right now that we have the red gem we can get onto this passage here like if you didn't have a red gem you actually can't get onto it because it's not actually there now that we have the red gem so that's why it is significant to get the colored gems in this game because technically, we needed to finish the game anyway, but without it, you can't get some silver gems. Alright. Yes, this is a secret passage yes, yet again. You'll find that a lot of levels that require a silver gem will have a secret passage, so... Just start and keep that in mind. Check this out. Alright. I find it funny how, like, they try to make things look really, really tricky in this, but it's not even tricky at all. <laughs> how did they even get that life? I thought I spun it away. And another life! God! Life! I'm having horrible... 
uh, English problems. You probably find that the snow levels are probably the wow, another lie. You probably find that the snow levels are probably the harder levels in the game. But uh, I don't even know. Yeah, let's just say hello to a bunch of boxes and ah! I thought I was gonna like run into some freaking. All right. Yeah, earlier I thought I was gonna run into the uh, little stomp in there, the thing that flattens you or whatever. Some crap like that. Well, the time that you get like, wow, how many freaking Wumpa Fruit did that thing want to give me? Um, I just wanted to point something out. I don't think I mentioned it in previous episodes. When you see a question mark box, the question mark box can give you anything except for a bomb belt. Oops. Except for a bomb belt. It won't blow up, but it can give you either Wumpa Fruit or a life. Yeah. Even though some of you may have already noticed that without me actually telling you, but I just thought I would say it anyway. Hate that thing. Alright. I'm pretty sure this level has something like 120 boxes or something like that. It's kind of something really crazy. <laughs> Alright. Not far from done now. Oh, I don't even miss that. No, get it. Thank you. Yeah, you're not going to get me this time, a little crap. Hate your guts. Yeah, you're going to want to watch it. Going to want to watch out for these ice crystals because when you get close, they start falling and they can kill you. Just like most things in this game. Oh, that was way too close. Okay. I am sick of all these one fruits. It's too many. Wow, something didn't actually give me a life. What a surprise. What's the bet this gives me a life though? Yeah, no. Uh I'll just let her. Oh, come on, skate! Thank you. Okay, I thought it was gonna like not skate away for a second and glitch up on me, and then I'll just die. Something like that. Ha ha ha, another life. Okay, for any of you who have actually played the original Crash Bandicoot, you'll notice that these Rolling Stones here look quite familiar. Yes, that is because they're actually from the original games. Or from the original game. And we've gotten all the boxes. Now to get over this ridiculous rolling stone thing. And there is our silver gem. Huzzah! Alright, I guess we can probably do one more level. We'll go ahead and do Air Crash. Okay, now, this, obviously this level is a little bit more difficult from the first stage. Oh, I'm just saying, not every single stage is, is, repeated, is a repeated stage of the other. It's just the first couple of levels are, but, uh, whatever. I find it funny that I've died more times in this LP than I usually do in, in any game whenever I'm, just, whenever I'm just playing through this. I find it funny how I've died a lot more, time, a lot more times than I have, so that's kind of weird. But then again, like I said last episode, it's an LP. I have to expect things to go wrong. And of course they're going to make it a thousand times difficult for us because... Screw you, Nitros. Hmm. What a tricky thing to do, you know, because no one knows to wait. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, look how hard this is. I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> Man, I should probably stop being sarcastic because every single time I start being sarcastic, I nearly die. Why did I not jump? And of course I get alive. 
Whoa! I nearly went off the edge there again. <laughs> Before the end of this game, I reckon I'm going to have 100 lives. God! Uh, let's see here. That was so hard. No, you know what? I'm going to wait. Because I know what you're going to do. When I jump on them, you're going to fall. Alright. See this here? This is a skull root. Let's get on it. And it'll take us to a new or a secret part of the level. This is where you get one of the silver gems in this level. The other one is getting all the boxes, which we can't actually do until a little bit later. But, um... Yeah, you can't get all the boxes in this level until a bit later. How retarded is that? So we're going to come back later, probably a few episodes time, I guess. Oh my god, come on! Come up! You faggot! Oh my god! Ha oh, ha, why? That just, like, stayed down there. What? Uh... I just got ripped off. Oh well. Let's get back on it. Just saying, if you die in the level before you get to the skull root, the skull root will actually disappear and you won't be able to access it. So, yeah. Just try. That's. Are you freaking. Whoops. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, oh my god, why? I find it funny how I start dying a lot once I mentioned that I've started dying a lot. That did not make any sense, but whatever. Alright! Third time's a charm. Let's not die this time. There we go! Now let's not be retarded and... Not falling for your gay trick again. I can't believe I did that last time, seriously. Let's wait now. Okay, now let's go. There we go. That rhyme. God, there are so many nitros in this level. Look at this. What is this? Oh, wow. A little bit tricky. Not a tricky moment. Oh, my God. What do I do? And there is a silver gem for completing the secret passage. Yay! Alright, now that that conniving level is over and done with, we're going to finish this episode off here. Next time in Crash Bandicoot 2, we're going to finish off level 2 and maybe take on the boss of level 2. See you guys then.